Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Saturday the 21st of November. Thanks again for watching. Oh, what a great day. Did I mention it's my birthday today? See how I think of you recording a video even on my birthday? But I couldn't possibly miss it, could I, given that we had some snow last night and we've had some today across eastern parts of the country. And uh, I saw this on Facebook. Um, I didn't see a credit, so I couldn't credit it to anybody. But it's just hilarious. It's so true, isn't it? Um, yeah, we had a little bit of snow yesterday in places. Uh, I must admit, it hasn't gone particularly crazy. Uh, but certainly this this brings home the uh, madness of the British attitude to snow. I don't think it's always been that, has it? It's, I think it's only in recent years that uh, we've developed this uh, fear of snow or general excitement around snow, and I thought this was so true. Anyhow, so long as it keeps on snowing, it keeps us in business, long may it continue to do so. Although, of course, the IPCC report a few years ago did say that there'd be no snow in Europe past 2010. Uh, anyway, moving swiftly on, this is the 10-day mean of the 500 millibar flow from the ECMWF on the left, GFS on the right, and this covers the period next Saturday through until Monday the 30th of November. Um, and what I wanted to pick up on here is actually very similar stories coming in from both the ECMWF and the GFS, this strong jet coming in across the Atlantic. It's originating uh, across North America, you'll notice here, look, and... It's bringing in pretty cold air. That's a really strong jet. So it's chilly air. It's not going to recover back to the mild values that we saw during the early and middle stages of November. Um, it's chilly, not cold, chilly. And we might get the odd cold a day. And again, snow showers entirely possible across Scotland and northern England at times, but no signs of, uh, of dramatic winter just yet. And in fact, the jet looking very strong. I'll show you more of that um, as the CFS sees it in just a second. But first up, a couple of charts from the ECMWF based on the midday data on Saturday. And this one I just wanted to pick out. This is Wednesday, a real cold plunge coming down the country on Wednesday, thanks to low pressure centred off towards the west, high pressure off towards the east. These charts from tropicaltidbits.com. So a bit of a chilly one on Wednesday. And then next Sunday, real strong west to southwesterly flow predicted. Of course, a long way off, but certainly something we need to watch for with a storm system passing to the north of the country. Now, just be aware that these isobars are shown in two millibar intervals, but even with that, that's still a very strong flow coming through the UK. And as I say, just these indications of the jet really getting going again through this week and into next week. This is the five-day anomalies uh, from the CFS, again from tropicaltipitis.com. So this is day one to five, taking us up to the end of the 25th, going into the 26th of November. So that would be where I was sat this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, here's the jet starting to gather strength across the Atlantic. We've got that northwestly getting us into the trough across Europe here but then day 6 to 10 from the 26th through to the 1st of December so this would take us up to a week on Tuesday um, <clears throat> look how close together those geopotential height lines are real strong jets screaming in across the Atlantic it'll probably take the lows towards the north of Scotland heavy rain northern and western parts of the UK and Ireland probably drier towards the south and the east and then that strong jet remains there, days 11 to 15, and day 16 to 20, it's still in evidence. And even at days 21 to 25, from the 11th to the 16th of December, what do you know? There we are, strong jet, and uh, lower than normal heights in the Atlantic here, higher than normal heights down here, so high pressure tending here, low pressure tending up here. More of a west to west southwesterly flow across the UK, but again, just trace back those geopotential height lines, and you'll see them generating across the northern parts of Canada. So generally that cool air is still able to get in. What it points to all the way through actually, southern parts and eastern areas of the UK tend to see the less of the rain, most of it towards the north and west, generally near normal temperatures. But as I say, at times, wouldn't be surprised to find a more north to northwesterly flow uh, buckling things around and bringing that threat of some wintry showers. Of course, we'll keep you updated throughout here with developments 
at weatherweb.net but I think we've got to get ready for some more stormy conditions ahead We're running into the middle and well early and middle stages of December okay I'll leave you with that for now but whatever you're doing have a great evening or if you're watching on Sunday have a great day keep the sun shining and bye for now